And hello everyone. My sales range from $50 to $450 for an item. When people say without further ado or let's just get into it, I really don't have any, any kind of transitional tag phrase. Let's go bitches. So this is a pair of free people jeans. I have had a hard time selling free people uh, for any kind of profit and including any anthro, but these sold really quickly. For $62 and I believe that's because they were pull-on and I made sure to mention that these Patugas sold for $55 I picked them up in a bag sale and it wasn't until I modeled them that they actually sold for a really good price uh, they're really really cute and they have the pony hair Mary Jane uh, animal print strap with velcro they're a comfort shoe These are another pair of fry boots. These are men's moto this is full zip. They're slip on and with the harness. And again, I found the style number and put that in there and they sold for $97. They're a really great sale, John Addison. And again, I wanna make sure you know, you see that there's not a whole bunch of likers on these things when they sell. This is a Patricia Nash. If you don't sell Patricia Nash or know much about it, you should definitely be looking. She, her leather smells amazing, and you can tell that it's quality. This one is limited edition. It sold for $130. I paid $25 for this bag. It's a black tool leather with a silver metallic back. This next brand I wasn't familiar with, except I saw it and I knew. It was something good. It's Ace and Jig, and that uh, I picked up for $5.99, and it sold for $76, I believe, in a matter of a day or two. Uh, this one I got really at one of my favorite like private thrift stores. This Kate Spade dress I picked up in Goodwill. It sold for $55. I had gotten it on a half off. Uh, I think it was, you know, $3.99. It had some wear to it, but it sold reasonably quickly and for a really good profit. I made 50, I sold it for $55. <clears throat> These Chacos sold for $65. Any kind of comfort sandal, shoe, that you can find, especially Chacos, is a really desirable brand. These last forever, and they're really comfortable. I did wear them. I wore them for probably two months while they were listed, and I said, when I get the right price, I'll sell them because I don't want to be a hipster. They sold for $65. I paid $2. Anytime you see Tumi, T-U-M-I, luggage, you should be picking it up, even the accessories. I've sold bundles of little accessories, eye patches from Delta, or anything like that. That bag sold really well. This is a vintage coach fanny pack. Uh, this one I wore a little bit and it was in such excellent excellent condition. I picked it up in a church thrift store for three dollars. So I wore it, listed it, and finally when I got the offer I felt good about I sold it for eighty-five dollars. This Gucci tie I found for one dollar in a thrift store only because I was willing to pick and I knew that there was a gem. So I found this Gucci, I took the photos, I listed it and it took about, I don't know, five weeks. It sold for $99. If you don't know about gunny sacks, you need to know. This is a vintage 70s, 80s prairie style dress. It's highly sought after. I listed, actually posted this on Instagram before I listed it and it sold within three hours for $222. This is a Patagonia. This sold out of season and I sold it for, I think it was $70. And uh, I probably would have gotten more had I waited till winter. I picked that up for $5. Another pair of fry boots. These are vintage, actual Western boots that sold for $52. They showed a decent amount of wear and they're pull on. And again, like every pair of fry, they sold fairly quickly. This cognac pair of fry boots are a higher under the knee slouch boot and they had some wear, but the leather was flawless, and I sold those for $64. Those both were picked up for very little money, like under $10 a piece. This pair of fry boots I paid up for. I paid about $14.99 because they were new. They did not have tags, but they were brand new, and I ended up selling those for $70. This is a St. John's brand. This is a St. John's Sport. There's a lot of different St. John's variations, but make sure you understand it's not St. John's Bay. This is St. John's. It's a designer, high-end brand. 
This sold for $80. I bought it for $4 in an estate sale. Tory Burch linen dress. Uh, it had some pulls along the breast line, and I disclosed that in my listing, but it was 100% linen, linen, and it sold for $52. I got it for $3.99. Catherine Maldrino, new with tags, floral, full, maxi, ruffle. I mean, it had everything. Size medium, but very oversized. That sold, I believe it took like a day or two for $72. I made sure I found out what the name was. Do you see anything? Koyuchi. I didn't know the brand, but I could tell it was a waffle knit and it was really, really good quality. Um, and it's 100% organic. If you see something organic, cotton, you should probably pick it up. That sold fairly quickly. This I bought for $4 in a state sale. Uh, this piece I sold for $100. It's obviously suede and jean, immaculate condition, vintage 70s skirt set. And uh, it's sold very quickly for $100. I'm very happy with that. This is a consignment piece. It's just a Levi, a Lee actually, union made, Porsche embroidered, and it sold for $50. This was a piece that was out of season and it had some flaws. It's a North Face down puffer. The gentleman who bought it gave me a really fair deal and it was really quick. So it had some flaws and I didn't want to wait for an extra 20 bucks. I sold it to him for 50. This is a consignment piece from White House Black Market. This uh, piece I paid nothing for, obviously, except for my time and I split the profit. These I bought the season prior. They are Goat Fur uh, Technica, I believe is the name, and they were new. And I bought them last season in a bag sale, and I waited because I knew I'd get my money on them, and I sold them for $150. The second winter basically was around the corner. Birkenstocks in good conditions, or not good condition, clogs, or sandals. These sold for $50 really quickly. Here's a pair of, there's a few of these actually. They're cons vintage consignment snakeskin platform. I sold four pairs, I believe it was to the same person in Las Vegas. She paid between $50 and $68 for each pair and I was able to sell them with a consignment. This was a pair that I bought for, I think these were $10, I sold them for $60. This is another pair of that snakeskin platform consignment boot that I did on consignment and I do have a video about consignment if you want to learn more. These are another pair with the red consignment sold all to the same buyer in Las Vegas, and I split the profits with my client. These are Charles Jordan vintage bronze gold metallic boots. This sold at the beginning of winter, and uh, they sold for a really good price. They sold for $60. This is a vintage Obermeyer ski suit. I sold it for $99. I picked it up for $3. This is a coach fanny pack in brown, and uh, it was in good condition, but this shows some size of wear. It had a little bit of distressing on it. I used this for a few months and sold it for $50. <clears throat> Bought this full-length suede jacket last season for $20. It's a Brandon Thomas. I wasn't really happy, and I sat on it. Uh, sold it when as soon as I got the first offer when winter came for $77. If you see any racing motorcycle moto jackets this is a hugo boss i sold this to a repeat client for 50 dollars. i believe that he sells whole he buys wholesale and that's okay with me because i bought this for four dollars this is a cloak with faux fur uh, it was so beautiful and i sold that for 67 i bought it for 7.99 ed hardy i got these two for one for 5.99 a piece this is an oversized hoodie the more loud and bold the better uh, somebody bought three of these from me i believe it was a woman who's going to wear them as sweater dresses uh, so she bought this one at 55 and the other two just were under 50. so that's why they didn't make the list this is a pair of consignment leather fringe new with tag boots they have the sterling silver very southwestern boho these are vintage again and i sold those for 64 dollars consignment this is a personal bag of mine. It's a vintage Gucci, and it's sold for $180. And now, this is going to be one of several pairs of Crocodile Vintage Mori men's dress shoes. That one sold for $85. This is a bag by Gerard 
Ooh, I don't remember it, but it had a little bit of flaws. It was just the knit and the crochet. Just a quality piece, and I knew that it would go. It's Gerard Darcel, and that's sold for 57 This piece is a really unique Tony Alamo, and he does all the different locations, different big cities in puffy paint from the 90s and 80s. Uh, he, this one was the New York one, and it had the Twin Towers still on it from obviously before because it's vintage. This sold after a few months, actually, and I got an offer for 200 took it. I bought these Chanel's for $4.99 in a Goodwill in Florida on a visit, and they got listed. I waited a while, actually. They're kitten heel, sling back, two-tone vintage Chanel, and I sold them for 70 This is another pair of those crocodile dress shoes on consignment. They sold for $178. Now, there's going to be four in this whole lot. Actually, the same buyer bought them in a bundle. He bought them for 178 100 100 and 100 This is bought to, sold to a different person for 178 and another person bought these for 178 Consignment, I paid nothing and split the profits. Tory Birch, I paid $5.99 for these Riva Snake Skin Tan Camel Colored like new, sold them for 50 These are another pair of consignment Crocs, $85. Now, this is a, actually a lizard skin, and I wasn't crazy about the, the actual look of them. They sold for 75 This is a really interesting piece. Uh, I'd gotten people telling me that you can sell much, this for a lot higher. It's like at least 80 years old. It came from Cuba when we were still able from the U.S. to visit Cuba and my client's grandmother brought it home and it was just passed down. It was a consignment piece. It sold for $55. It sat for, I think, three months. So, you know, I know I could have gotten more. It's not my piece. It's my consignment client's goal. This is my prize sale of the year. $450 for this vintage Louis Vuitton trunk. I gotten several offers. That was a consignment piece. Here's another consignment vintage piece. It's an 80s, 90s hysterics. It did have some wear, and uh, it sat for quite a while, too, and that not a whole lot of likes, and then the right buyer came and made me a really good offer. I mean, I got four, I got 17 likes, but for such a unique piece, the right buyer came, gave me an offer of 140 and we took it. The last large sale is a Harris Tweed Blazer. It sold for $50. And this one, I had three listed. This one actually sold the fastest, and it was only listed for a matter of a week. If you see Harris Tweed, uh, you should be picking the, them up. If you sell on eBay, I do not. I believe that you can get a lot more on eBay for this because we don't have a really developed men's market. That's it for my final large sales of my entire Poshmark career, which is about 18 months. Uh, if you want to watch part one, I will link it in the description. And please feel free to like, subscribe, and uh, ring that bell for notifications so you can see all of the uploads. I try and upload at least twice a week. At least twice a week.